Oh boy, what a mess. I got a lot of stuff to paint. See all the zombicide and massive darkness stuff? It's too much. But today I'm going to focus on getting some aliens done because this is the AVP Wargamer channel and we want to make sure I do some AVP stuff here. So um, I'm just going to kind of go through, I already did this before on my channel, but I'm just going to talk about it some more as I get these guys done. Um, if you're trying to get your aliens to look really good, um, here's a couple techniques. Um, uh, today I'm going to do um, a warrior alien, I mean an infant alien, and the uh, little runner aliens, little dog aliens. So um, what I like to do with my aliens, because I've had to paint a lot of these like really quickly, um, and to be honest, if you have a ton of miniatures like I do, and you want to get these guys done, you're going to have to speed things up. So what I do is I take... Um, these resin miniatures. These are aliens from Protoss Games, if you don't already know. Uh, they're unicast or cast in one piece. And then what I do is I spray paint these with a black uh, primer. Um, the primer that I use is a, a camouflage. I'm getting at some of it. All right. I use this kind of stuff just to rustoleum black camo. It's flat. It gets into all the grooves pretty well. Um, and it's cheap. I get this at Walmart. Um, it's, it's very easy to use. And then for paints, I, I like to use, um, any silver. Um, I typically like the, uh, uh, this brand of silver, the P3s. Um, this has really good pigment and it's not too translucent when you put it on. Um, it, it goes on pretty well. Like this is just a very rough dry brush of the silver onto this alien. Um, and then I like to use, um, the Games Workshop washes like Draken Nightshade or Drakenhof, or however you pronounce that. This stuff is like my secret weapon. I love that stuff. Um, you could also use green shade. Um, this is pretty good if you want to get some multi-level color kind of effects. And I'm going to show you what I did with this uh, king alien here. Uh, this king alien. Uh, let me move the camera up a little bit. There we go. So this king alien, um, he was painted using the, the black, right? And then I um, dry brushed silver. And then I dry brushed um, some of this uh, uh, folk art uh, metallic blue. So there's um, the highlights are in the, in the blue. And then um, I, I really didn't do very much fine detail work out in this at all. It's just lots and lots of dry brushing. When you dry brush, you want to get like a really thick brush. Um, get it into the paint. And then um, brush it off on a paper, paper towel and then just, just hit all the high edges. And then you're just gonna go over the whole thing uh, until you get it um, kind of spattered with some of that uh, silver and the blue. Now then what I did is I took a purple wash. I kind of put a purple wash in here and in here and kind of did like, like some shading effects using the purple. And then went back over again with the silver and then the Draken Nightshade with the blue and just, just constantly just, just layer after layer after layer. Um, and it, it didn't take that long, actually. Probably about three layers of silver in there between all the washes. Um, and especially on the tail, you can see it's kind of got that iridescent look, and that's because of the purple. Um, so th there's the black primer, then there's the silver, and then there's the blue, and then there's the purple wash, and a little bit of blue wash in there. Maybe even some nun oil black. You know, I use, use the black wash a lot on, on this guy, too. And then, and then you just kind of get it until you, you get the desired effect. Now, the, the object of the game is to get all the, um, all the ridges somewhat highlighted. Like, if you look at the leg there, like, I could have gone in and hand done all those little ridges, but I didn't. I just did it a once over, and then so, so, a bunch of washes, and it worked out pretty good. Now, the same thing with the green on the base for that wing of um, the dropship there. Um, I painted it green, and there's just some black washes, and I, I left it pretty pretty messy you know it's got you know a lot of battle damage so who cares right you don't have to get these things perfect and they still look amazing uh, when you're done so this is the kind of look that I'm kind of going for um, I, I'm not gonna use the, the purple on these guys down here so I'm not gonna use the purple but I am gonna use some blue so here let me lift the camera up and down Whoop. Oh, now I've done it there we go Okay, so um, we're going to take that Draken Nightshade and we're going to put some uh, some blue on all these aliens. 
so you can see um, as I cover this guy with the blue kind of naturally highlights them and it gets in all those edges and I'm, I'm pretty pretty liberal with the blue here just going all over it you know and the and it will puddle up in areas so you want to kind of like after it sits for a little bit just check it make sure you don't have it puddling up in too many places but you know that's that's not bad I'm gonna go over this guy and you can do the base too I mean I just do the whole thing and then what I do is I go in with a detail brush and highlight just a few key features on the base um, so that it'll go faster uh, okay so there's another infant so there I've already got two of them and like this is tabletop quality if you just want to get it done just do the silver and do the blue wash and call it done you know if you're not a very good painter you don't want to spend too much time on it but the more you paint the more you are going to want to spend time and the better your miniatures are going to look obviously you know I could spend years perfecting one model but with this table full of models I don't got that kind of time I'm busy I run my own business on the side you know I don't have time to you know paint my miniatures as much as I want so you know I just just want to get these guys done and move on to some more fun things and and again you know you want to the the key to being a good painter is uh the quantity you want to paint as much as you can you know pick like once you get confident pick a couple you know really you know big pieces and, and then go for it and just spend your time on them like uh a couple of the models that i've had for over a year now that i don't really work on right now but I'm going to get back to it. I like the dropship for aliens. Um, I'll, I'll do a recording of that when I get around to painting that some more. But I got it base coated. I got a lot of the details done on it. It would pr probably wouldn't take me very long to finish it. But I got so, much, so many other things that are distracting me right now that I really want to like focus when I'm, I'm ready to do it. And I, okay, so some of these models have some little purple showing in the recesses where this primer didn't really get in there. You know, again, I, I can do a half ass job at priming um, because I know I'm going to come back and paint it, you know, later with, with more paints. So and the wash is getting a lot of those recesses anyways. So boom, there you go. So all those guys just got done. Um, now for the brown guys, um, what I want to do with these... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I want to. Yes, I do want to wash these guys. I'm gonna use some of this blue, anyways. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight them with more brown uh, later. Okay, so um, those guys are kind of just sitting and drying for a little bit. Uh, while those guys are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and and put some washes on some more stuff here. Um, here's one of those Predator Berserkers. Um, this was one of the pre-order exclusives. And there's a lot of detail on the base. I got the base silver, and I got the Pred Alien, some silver on there, and then he's still the primer black. Um, and I, I wanted you to use darker colors on him, so thus the black. If you want to go with brighter colors, I'd do like white. Like here's a little ch Texas Chainsaw guy I got from Studio Miniatures. Um, I went with the white so that I could um, make him a little bit brighter. But anyways, so we're gonna wash the base here. Now I'm, I'm only interested in getting the alien heads on this and the metal tiles. There we go. And there we go. So there's that blue wash. This gets that James Cameron kind of blue look on the aliens. Now I'm going to go back on that Pred Alien skull and I'll add some greens later. All right, well, there we go. So I'll set that over there. And that's why I have so many half-finished stuff here is because I've got um, Gamer ADD, I guess. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working. 
put in some wash on this miniature. I'm like, oh wait, this miniature over there needs some wash. And I'll set that down and I'll go wash another one. Now, here, I'm going to show you another cool thing. Um, now, these are some bugs from Starship Troopers. Um, I primed them white. They've been sitting a while. I'm going to see what happens when I give them a wash. Um, I was thinking blue, but maybe I should go for a green this time. I got plenty of blue wash stuff. Yeah, let's give these guys a green. See what happens. So this is a uh, Colia Green Shade from Games Workshop. So I'm giving this bug a little green wash here. That's pretty cool. So you see how that gets in all the recesses? So if you don't know anything about washing, like this is your secret weapon. Look how cool that is. Just by washing it. Like no talent required. I always say that when I'm washing things. It's liquid talent. It's one of my favorite things to say about washes. You know, you don't have to spend a lot of money on paints. Like I get the cheap craft paints, which aren't that great. And I use them a lot. But you got to splurge a little bit on paint every once in a while. And it really helps. Like the professional paints, if you can't afford the professional paints, go for it. They're a little bit nicer in the apple barrel, but if you're on a budget, you know, you can't afford all those paints at once, go get the cheap dollar, the dollar paints until you can afford the better stuff. Um, so like example, um, okay. So like this kind of paint, it's a buck, ceramic coat. Um, it's a thicker paint, so it's easy to be gloppy when you, uh, you paint with them. Um, or you could go for like game color. Um, this is a thinner paint and it goes on a lot nicer. Um, is there any advantages? Yes, there are. This is great for doing big things and like like huge set pieces and stuff like that. If you try to use this to paint giant paintings, you're gonna run out of paint. It's gonna be expensive. But, you know, these run anywhere from three to five bucks a piece. These are a dollar. So um, if you can't afford this, go ahead and buy that um, and, until you can afford this. And once you can afford this, then, you know, go for it. You know, you gotta, Get your training wheels done, and then you can go for some nicer stuff. But always, I always buy the really nice washes. Um, they are totally worth it. Again, you know, five bucks, you know, anywhere from five to eight dollars for, you know, a wash. It's it's worth it to me. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna kind of just show off a few other things I'm working on here. Um, I've got a bunch of these. These are the the Turf War Z miniatures. Um, this is my Rasta gang. And what I've done with this guy is I've done his pants in a light green and then gave him a black wash. And the same thing, this was a red. And I basically did red, brown, green, black, black for the hair, and gold. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a cold. Um, and then I just black washed the whole thing. And I got all the details. And then you go back and you highlight where you needed. Like I highlighted the gold to kind of bring that back out. Here's one of the Predator... Um, uh, young bloods, come on, camera focus. There you go. Um, now this I did a combination of the copper and the silver. I did a black wash over it, and then for the netting, I dry brushed over the netting to get you know some black on the netting. Uh, I haven't done the front yet. Um, the netting is a pain in the butt. I usually use. T okay, so the netting. A lot of people have a hard time with it. Um, let's see if I can kind of demonstrate it here. Um, I really like to use the, the nicer paint uh, for that. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit of paint on a very, very uh, thin tip brush here. And I apologize for the focus. I'm using my cell phone. So I'm going to see how well we can do this. Okay, so I, I get a little bit of paint on the, on the brush, uh, but not too wet. And then I, I'm going to slide over the top of that the nets, um, like like so. If I can, I'll, I'll do it by hand in certain areas. Um, like along the edges, I can like find this, define that edge with the black. And if you mess up, don't worry about it. Just go back and repaint it. You know, the thing, the key is to not get it too gloppy. Um, I'm gonna kinda See, I'm using the, the flat side of the brush here to kind of get the tops. 
because I don't want this brush to go deep into the, the crevices where the skin is. Because that's going to be really easy to do. Okay, so see I got, got the netting in there. It's not too hard to do this. You just have to be a little careful. Okay. And again, I don't want my my brush sopping wet with paint. There we go. Ooh. And if you want to highlight the nets a little bit, you can actually go back with a little bit of gray and kind of do this same technique on top of the black, but even lighter. And it'll pop out those that netting even more. But for me, the netting's such a pain in the ass already. I just you know do what I can. And I, oh, I like to put black on the edges of the armor, kind of help define it. And I'm going to go back and touch this up, touch up any of my mistakes. But let's see, can you see that? Let's see, camera. There we go. See how I did that netting? So again, it's just lightly brushing the tops of the netting. Oops, that was too wet. Dang it. I actually kind of like seeing a little bit of the white on that netting. And these, I, th I believe these guys are 3D printed, so it's hard to, hard to get a lot of those details. You know, and these, and that doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you just gotta get, like, where my glue kind of screwed up. I'm just gonna paint net lines back on there. As long as you have, you know, the gist of some netting in there, you're gonna be okay. Okay, well, far from done. Oh, probably completely out of focus the whole time. Come on, camera. There we go. So, far from done. But those are just a few techniques that I like to use uh, when painting miniatures.